In this example, uh, we try to explain how to uh, create nice uh, 3D visualizations. Um, before uh, we start with uh, the real uh, example that you can download, we first add some some basic uh, 3D geometry sample. We add the source code here. And as you can see, we have a simple component uh, called uh, 3D Geometry Sample. It has one method, get geometry, and this method returns a uh, uh, vGeometry um, 3D object. And um, yeah, inside the method, we don't do much. We create a V triangle, triangle array here. And then we create four nodes. We specify um, their position uh, by creating a new point uh, 3f um, object. This comes from the VACMath package uh, used by uh, uh, Java 3D, um, which we will use for uh, the 3D visualization. And then we uh, add triangles. Uh, to um, our triangle array and here we specify the index of the triangle and then feed some uh, feed it with uh, the, the appropriate nodes. And then in the last line we create a vGeometry 3D object which uh, 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 uses the result as uh, geometry and then gets some, some uh, uh, optional parameters like uh, colors for uh, the visualization. Um, now we compile it and what we get is um, this geometry sample with one method and here we go. Uh, you probably have seen this example before it's just to get you started with uh, 3D content. I'll close it now and we'll look at a more complicated but also more exciting example. Here you go. Um, here uh, we have the user function objects. Um, this is just like the ones we used in, in the previous uh, um, 2D plotting uh, tutorial and example project. As you may notice here is no code sign. This is uh, uh, because of um, we use um, the built-in version of user function in the previous example we had a custom one because we wanted to to uh, change the parameter names of the method because the default is x, y uh, in this case and, and in the other example it was t. Uh, so uh, if you like to customize this component then just use uh, the one you find in the 2D plotting example. Okay and here you see some some nice function um, that we specify here. It's a combination of, of cosine and sine and uh, we feed that to the geometry generator. Um, this is a component that um, uses the function um, to create a nice uh, 3D geometry and we specify a resolution and minimum value and maximum value for uh, the parameter ranges. Okay, and then uh, which is different from uh, the simple geometry sample is also that we use a custom appearance here. I can also open the source code and what you see here is that we just create a, a new uh, 3D geometry um, appearance with uh, um, custom parameters and then this appearance will be used to finally visualize the triangle array and this is our result it looks quite nice it's fully interactive I can right click here and I can reset the view save it as image increase zoom speed or decrease zoom speed in this case I'll, I'll increase it and then I can zoom in easily 
yeah, this is our first example. Then we have another uh, user function um, here, and uh, also this one has a geometry generator uh, that is used to create the the triangle array, and then we use an, an another ex, uh, appearance here, and then you got this result also a very nice visualization, and. Um, just like with uh, the previous example here you can also use external data and it's really easy to to uh, to visualize it with uh, the built-in capabilities um, maybe we look at the geometry generator once at, at the source code um, yeah essentially these are two for loops and we we uh, generate uh, the triangles um, uh, to uh, and combine them to a triangle array and this is uh, the resulting geometry so uh, we don't explain the math parts here uh, you can look that up in a book or if you need uh, help from us then just drop us a line and this tutorial we want to focus on, on the technical parts um, but you get the full source code and you can change it uh, as you like um, yeah let's look at the triangle array viewer and here you see that it's really easy so there's not much to do for you um, it just says if we don't have an appearance then we specify one and if uh, we have one then we use it for visualization okay that's basically it. Um, I hope you like this example and that you will use it for, for uh, creating amazing uh, visualizations.